ACID has got to be the funnest program and probably one of the most ingenious programs to come out in a long time. I think that it, uh, for musicians it's a great tool. For people who are guitar players who have a hard time laying down drum tracks, ACID is an excellent tool. Beyond professional musicians, people who love music but don't play note love the program. Go in, cut and paste stuff, buy some CDs that are in the particular genre of music that you like and or mix and match different genres. Put them in acid, all of a sudden you have this monstrous tune and all you're doing is cutting and pasting. Acid's a loop-based program and what you have with acid is undoubtedly the easiest environment in which to assemble loops. One of the reasons is, is that the loop, which uh, in most cases is a small one or two bar musical digital audio segment that repeats over and over, uh, the ACID environment gives you the ability to take all these loops that are different tempos and put them into um, the ACID sequence that is a certain tempo. All the tempos of the loop shifted to whatever the tempo is of the ACID song. And you can come up with music really fast and check all the different loops and see how they work without actually having to destructively change the tempo of each loop. ACID is a Windows based program. It's not a particularly demanding program. It will run with no problem on a 200 megahertz machine with 64 megs of RAM. But if you want to get as many tracks as possible, you want to get a faster computer. The more tracks, the more demanding on your computer. I would say some of the more essential components, if you really want this to sound as good as possible, is to first get a good digital audio card, something that has good analog to digital converters, uh, a mixer, and some nice speakers. However, because the audio samples for ACID in most cases were recorded at professional studios, you could get a, you could use your basic sound card that comes with your PC and have it run out of your sound card and it would sound pretty good. Okay, this right here is the timeline. It's in uh, bars and beats. You got measure one, measure three, measure five right here. And what you do is you scroll through your drives and the Explorer, you listen to all the loops, you pick out the loop that you want. In this case, I've, I'm highlighting this one called Funk Master. It plays over and over. I'm going to double click on it. It draws out a little track for it. I go in here, choose my pencil tool, and I just draw in the loop. And it automatically shifts it to the tempo of the song. Once again, this particular loop was 110 beats per minute, but now you're hearing it at 120 beats per minute. Notice how I'm just drawing this in. This is a two-bar phrase. If you notice this little perforation right there, that means that the loop is actually repeating. So what I'm going to do is, uh, this is also set to snap to the whole note. So I'm not really looking at what I'm doing. I'm kind of just plugging the, the loop in there, and it's automatically going right to the whole note. That's one of the things about ACID that makes it so easy. So you can be listening to your loops play back while you preview other sounds at the same tempo. So I'm going to click on this bass loop, plays it right in context and tempo-wise with the original drum loop. Now I want to add this bass thing, so I double click on this spot right here, and I just maybe give it like uh, two measures where the drums are playing, and then I'll have the bass kick in right there. So notice the perforation once again means that the loop is repeating, the whole phrase of the bass is repeating again. So, you listen back to this, this is going to work seamlessly. So as I'm listening to this, it can go on and on and on. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go in here, try and find a little guitar part. Here's the guitar part. Okay, that sounds good, so I'm going to double click on this. And I'm just going to, you can do it live, play it while it's playing. I'm going to click this guitar part on and drop that right in there. Listen back to it. If I didn't want to start the guitar part right there, I could always move it back so it starts in time with the bass. Listen back to the whole thing. Okay, that sounds good. Let's try another guitar part. So I'm previewing it. I like that. I double click on it. Adds another spot right there for me to drop, the, another track for me to drop the guitar part in. Rewind it. After this guitar part is over, the one right here ending at measure five, I'll click on here, drop in the second guitar part, and then maybe bring in the bass again, right here. And the guitar right here, even add the drums live. So I'm adding to it without stopping. It's an amazing program. 
If you're a musician, you can really dive deeply into it and customize it to be close to what you want. However, if you're not a musician and you just want to mess around with uh, some music, you can go out and buy an Acid Loop library and just start dropping the stuff in and come up with an amazing song in no time. We're here at Computers and Music in San Francisco. Thanks a lot for your time.